events and issues shaping our community. This is Comcast Newsmakers. This year, as your child heads back to class, you may notice some of their art classes may have been cut back. It's no surprise as many school districts are trimming their budgets. Local artists are coming together to make sure art stays alive in school. Chip Kegi is one of those local artists. His artwork has appeared on vehicles, commercials, even films. His most famous is probably the vivacious pink car from Too Fast and Too Furious, filmed right here in South Florida. He joins us with another artist, Adonis Park, with more on what they're doing to keep art alive. And thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Th thanks, this is more of a labor of love for you guys because uh, you're so committed to art. Well, you have to be committed to be able to go into the schools and do stuff for nothing, pretty much. And what I'm seeing is every time you look at the news, they're saying they're taking out art or music or physical education, and there's no one there really boosting it and trying to get it back in. Mm -hmm. uh, me, my, for myself, I can say that uh, even in elementary school, I was in art classes, and I knew I was going to be an artist from back then. So you need people like us that are doing it for a living and making a career out of it to be able to tell these kids that you can make a living. It's not just some phony little job that you do for fun. And Adonis here has really put a, a foot forward in that and gotten to the schools and been able to uh, network with the right people mm -hmm. to uh, get the job done and he's done a lot of projects for it. Adonis, you've done a lot of legwork actually getting into the classrooms. What did you have to go through? Well basically it wasn't really, it's just a, it was a know-how and I, I did a little research and I wanted to not only be an artist but to be a businessman and I knew that uh, there's certain things I didn't know about you know the industry, the art industry and um, I had to take some time with myself and study and uh, to study who I, who I am as a person and how I could best fit my piece of the puzzle, puzzle excuse me, in the community. Mm -hmm. So what I did, um, I became a, became a vendor with Dade County Public Schools, with Miami-Dade County, and also the city of Miami. And what that uh, uh, has led me to do is to, to uh, per se, uh, get permission to do murals, um, be able to go on campus or go on a parks, uh, Dade County Public Schools, mm -hmm. and also in the parks and rec. Uh, and also be able to uh, paint murals there. And, and you're actually teaching kids as you do this. Right. I'm, uh, I'm, you're bringing them in on the projects. Yes, I'm working with Dade County of Public Schools. Every summer I do an internship program. Mm -hmm. and that's with any young artist that's interested in art that stays within the, uh, in, in the immediate area. Mm -hmm. They can come take my course in uh, Dade County, I think, pays for that, which is through South Florida Workforce. Okay. That's, a, that's another company that's been... And have, you, have you found this rewarding, working with the kids? Are they, there's an interest there, and they feel they're not fulfilling that, that interest? Well, I personally haven't been as involved as he has. I met Adonis a couple of years ago with a big project I mm -hmm. was doing at a pediatrician's office, and... Um, I have a lot of work sometimes and I need to network with other artists so he was one that I really looked at mm -hmm. and when I saw what he was doing other than just building his business and doing this for the kids it was something my wife and I had been talking about doing so that's how we became in the relationship we are uh -huh. because I really wanted to get more involved and yes it is rewarding when you do see those kids enjoying even if they're not doing a real good job but you give them that encouragement and they're they're putting out what's in their heart on paper. And, and you see the same thing, right? I see the same exact thing. And also, <laughs> I want to say that uh, uh, in the beginning, it was something I had to learn about myself uh, and, uh, and art and the business of art is that uh, you are on a sacrificial road, number one. And what, I, what, what that means is that you're going to have to give a lot of yourself. And it, it doesn't necessarily have to mean uh, finance, but you're going to have to give more well, of yourself. You're giving a lot of yourself right yes, here, both of you. Thank you very much. Yes. Want to learn the funny side of Latin art? Watch Latin 101 on Comcast On Demand under Get Local. It will have you laughing out loud. I'm Spiro Cannon. Thank you for joining us.